Most parents consider their children life's most precious gifts. So it seems only natural for them to go to great length to protect their kids from dangerous influences. But what happens when that protective urge drives families to extremes? The shocking story you're about to see shows how a mother, so obsessed with keeping her daughter safe, instead turned her life into a nightmare. For the first 17 years of her life, Angelina Hayes never once saw the light of day. Her mother, Roberta, kept her locked away inside their tiny apartment for that entire length of time without allowing her venture beyond the front door. Angelina Hayes agreed to give her first public appearance since leaving that domestic prison with an exclusive Present Vision interview. So, how does it feel to be out in the real world for the first time? Are you scared? Overwhelmed? What's going through your mind right now? I mean, I guess I'm kind of happy. Happy? Yeah, and a little scared. This is 422 Lipton Street in downtown Chillerton, the building in which Angelina remained cloistered for nearly two decades. We've asked Angelina to take us inside to give us a guided tour of the apartment that used to comprise her entire universe. This looks like the living room. It is. And what went on in here? Well, that's where my mother usually sat. She did crossword puzzles and read books, stuff like that. I didn't usually sit in here unless mother told me to keep her company on the couch. Hmm. Interesting. So, before last week, you never went beyond that front door? Never. Walking through with Angelina only deepened my sense of astonishment that she and her mother could survive in this environment every waking hour of the day. There isn't a crumb of food in here. There isn't a crumb of food in here. No. So, what did you eat if neither of you left the house? Mostly... How would you describe your mother? She was pretty mean. She made me do chores all the time, like vacuum the floor a million times a day and cook dinner. I hated her. Did she ever say why she felt it necessary to lock you up like that? She said that in the outside world, people would take all the clothes off your back if they had half a chance. I told her I didn't care about being naked, but then she just hit me. Do you feel like you missed out on a lot of life being cooped up in that apartment for all those years? Some people think that if you live your whole life in one place, that you can't even imagine what's on the outside, that you don't know what you're missing. But that wasn't me. I could imagine. The reason Angelina could imagine is that she possessed one window into the outside world, a television. This is my room. It's where I spent most of my time. This is my room. It's where I spent most of my time. I'd sit on my bed and watch TV a lot. And what were your favorite programs to watch? America's Next Best Model. <laughs> Fan of present vision then. <laughs> no. That goulash Spinoza, she's the host. And who's your favorite contestant? Um, I kind of like Clarissa. That's goulash Spinoza, she's the host. So if you had to describe the effect that living in that type of enclosed area for 17 years had on you, how would you convey that feeling? I guess you just have to keep believing that someday you're going to make it out, you know alive. When we return, Angelina's incredible escape from the apartment and what happened to her mother. I just looked at the open door and I thought, if I don't go for it now, maybe I'll never get out.